was dry today, luckily. We got piss wet yesterday. Basically it. I had to wait on a decision on the ridge beam. JB getting rid of this muck away and we're back filling the trench so where we had the new oil line installed for the boiler we've encased it in sand just to keep it protected we haven't whacked it down just gently stamped it through um, and then we're going to go over it with type 1 compact it down that drive may may be coming up as well at some point in the near future so it's purely for foot traffic to be safe and obviously we can get cars and stuff on there I've got Adrian's here, the sealant guy from Reliable Sealants, absolute wizard. He's going around doing all around the skirtings, anywhere that's not being carpeted, around the kitchen island, kitchens, bathrooms, uh, and the windows. Also bang this decorative mirror on as well. Uh, so, that makes that a little bit of a feature there now, like a little vanity area. So that looks pretty cool. Right, what's happening? Yesterday was a bit of a washout. Uh, didn't have nothing lined up, and it was pretty much pissing down all day. So today, sighting times, new job starting. We've got a hip to gable loft conversion. It's been a Ricky. Been to PGRs this morning. 20 past 8, it's a bit of a shit day today, it's meant to be until 10, so hopefully we're going to be able to get on. The idea is we're going to be stripping the hip end off, forming a new ridge and a new commons, and then sheeting it up, that's the game plan today. Uh, so it's looking a bit iffy at the minute, we're going to have to just tread carefully, so we should be alright taking the tiles off, as long as you don't punch the felt, we should be alright. Find you again. See you soon.
what is happening. So, um, this has got to be the world's biggest roof in Essex, I reckon. Okay, and that, not the world's, so that's a bit of a overstatement. Six metre rafters. Look at that, I'm going to show you in a sec how high it is. This is absolutely unbelievable. So, this is creating a few issues with. We need a scaffold on this gable end really to help us out, but we've, all, we've got to get the steels craned in before we can do anything. So, logistically, it's a bit of a strange one. This we're gonna have to wait until the steels are in, but we need to get this gable end off or this hip end off in order for the steels to get in. So, um, anyway, we've had to push on. Look at this absolute whopper. So all we're going to do today, we're a bit concerned about the weather for tomorrow and this afternoon's going to piss down, so can't see nothing with that sun. What we're going to do, that is the new ridge, this in, six by twos, is fixed on the end of the existing one. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> we've got a really bad cold, we've pushed it up level. So now we need to break out. This hip needs to be cut away on the per where the purling is, support the corner either side, and then strip this corner out, strip that end out, and then, yeah, reform that roof. So that's about as far as we can go today. You've got heavy rain during the next couple of hours, and then pissing down all through the night and all day tomorrow. So I'm a bit concerned about getting anything damaged inside. Tin hat wasn't an option. That's about four grand, I think, on top of the cost. So, just got to be a bit sensible with it. So that's us, we've got a few holes in the felt. We're gonna double check all them. And then uh, have a little tidy up, I think. It's lunchtime now, anyway. Right, guys, we are done. Just getting the last few bits down now. Um, it's all we can really do, so that's right what's happening guys so thursday let's get you set up thursday we're done we're in this dingy dark loft um we've been in the dry today luckily we've got piss wet yesterday just been breaking out these pockets for the steels and we may have a little bit of an issue up there so we're gonna hold fire for now um and then tomorrow's gonna be the one we'll get the gable off and all that so we have a little look, we've got three steels going in, one in the centre of the building, one down that end, 915 mil off the inside, outside wall, and we've got one there as well. So that's going to take the steel from 100 mil onto the party wall, across, cut the wall plate off, put a pad stone on the other end, get that through nice and level. We get the laser up here to set them in, and then that will be the new take the new floor joists and then we've got a ridge beam going in it's not really a ridge beam it's more like a ceiling beam so the new dorm was going to be cut into it and that'll be the new ceiling height but there's no in between well where that chimney is there's no um solid nine inch wall it's only a single skin so i've just got to ask the question about that and the neighbor's chimney i think's in use so i've got to go and have a speak to them in a minute just double check that no debris been falling down if not then it's going to pose a bit of an issue that chimney might have to go and be supported up higher uh, or we put a steel post in but it's going to need another two beams one going across the two steels and a post going up so hopefully we won't have to do that so that's it Had a bit of a tidy up leave a few bits out ready for tomorrow um, Crane driver's popped out, he's coming tomorrow afternoon, one o'clock. Steels are coming at one. I've got Andy, the chippy, coming in. And uh, it'll all be go tomorrow. Right, what's happening? It's Friday. And we are absolutely going for it. We've had to uh, tread carefully because of the weather. Today is a crucial day, big time. So we've put our faith in the weatherman, the Met Office app. If he lets us down, 
we are banging trouble, but we're not thinking like that. So, the hip end is coming off. Well, the, the tiles are off. The felt back is coming off. That's going to expose everything. Try and get these commons in. We've got till about one o'clock to get these in. Get this structure up. Try and get some felt on it. Uh, I've got a roll of DPM. We've got 100 square meters on that. Get that water tight because we've got a crane, 40 ton crane coming on the drive at one o'clock uh, and the four steels are coming as well. So we need to swing them in. We don't necessarily have to get them set today, but um, we've done the pockets yesterday, as you know, a little bit of an issue with the ridge, the ridge beam, because there's no um, nine inch wall between the two chimney stacks. So we might just have to push it over, just go in the side of it. So we've got a nice solid wall, so that should be fine. So yeah, get this off. Chippy's on his way. Have a good clear up. We'll start patting this off, these rafters out with a reciprocator. And then uh, get it all done, hopefully. coming off nicely the sun's coming out so that's making me feel a little bit better so game plan now we've got to try and get up there <laughs> so we're going to clear this scaffold get the tower set up we've got to take a few more tiles off of this end just up to that purling and then we've got to cut the bottom of this hip out so i'll get another da -da -da. Be all right, to be fair, might get another little support under here just to be safe, and then we can start offer these commons up and see how our measurements work. No time for filming. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, not right, what's happening, guys? Um, so yesterday was a late one, we was up here sheeting this all up till about half five, so. I've just popped in today just to show you how we got on yesterday. All in all, we had a good day, really. We had a big day because we geared up for the big day, the only dry day. We didn't have a choice. We had rain the day before and the rain the day after today. So we had to make sure everything was all lined up and everything went smoothly, which it did yesterday. Which is all good. So the game plan, really, as you know, was to get the hip end off, which we did. But this is a five meter ceiling height. No, about four meters, sorry. Six meter rafters, so it's an absolute whopper. So it just makes everything more challenging. And we also had to keep this end, we couldn't get a scaffold on the gable end because we had the crane came and got the beams in, so. We've done the pockets the day before, didn't we? So there you go. We've got one coming through the centre. That one was supposed to take the dormer. But he's built his off of the back of the house. But I'm just going to put that in for additional strength for the floor. Just to take the load off the back wall. And then you've got one here. It's going to have the dwarf wall up it. Once that's in. Then this purling can come out. So that is basically it. I had to wait on a decision on the ridge beam. It's going to go in the ceiling height. So 2.4, there'll be the door mole cut into it. Right, so that's another week down from Paul Jamie Construction. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on Monday. <laughs>